Hi, Mike here from Clearview Mirrors. Today we're going to uh, go through the installation of uh, putting a set of our Clearview Mirrors onto an 80 Series Toyota Land Cruiser. The, uh, the 80 Series is fairly simple. Right? You've got a plastic cover that goes over here. On this particular vehicle it wasn't here, but you can see the three bolts there. Now, you would think that if you can see the three bolts you should be able to just take it off, bolt the other mirror on, it's all good to go. The unfortunate part about it is try to run the wires down here, right down to about here in the door panel. So we've got to take the door panel off to be able to get the electrical plug so we can unplug it. Okay, what we're going to do first is you're going to need a flat screwdriver, something like that, and, and a number two Phillips head, right? Assuming that you've already got this off, right? Just come up underneath the, the uh, armrest. Lift that off, they just slide in with these clips. It all pushes back into place again quite easily. And then the other tool you need is a number two Phillips head screwdriver. Okay, I'm going to cheat. I have the power. So we've got two screws here. We've got one behind the armrest up in here. And it comes in at an angle like that, not straight in. So a, you, you just got to make sure that you get in, get onto it. And we'll find it. Okay, it comes out on an angle like that. All right. Now they're the only three screws that really hold things in place here. There's a little screw here. Right, which you can take out, it is only a baby. Right. You take that out and then open the door handle up and pop your, your cover off. All right. You don't need to touch your control panel, no need for it at all. From here, you just need your flat screwdriver and we're just going to pop this door panel off. Okay. I've already loosened this one, so I'm sort of cheating a little bit on you, but for the sake of uh, the DVD, we'll save a little bit of time here and I'll waste time on the DVD. Okay, door panel's off. Now you'll see the, the electrics and that are still attached. Right, I've got a little hook here that I like. Okay, I'll hook it up under there. Just sit it in a hole somewhere on the door. You can rest the other end up here. Right, or just let it let it hang if you like. And it usually will hang. Okay. Here's your plug for your your mirrors. Okay, and these just pull out. Right. A, a lot of the other models have got like a little trigger on them that you've got to press down. These just pull out. They've got a bit of foam around there, but discard all the foam off it. Right. And then just pull it apart like that. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to finish off by taking the, the three screws out which will release the mirror we've got to get this connector here out before I do that okay that's attached to the wires and I'll show you that shortly okay just push that back through the other way like that Okay, make sure your wires are loose. Then we're going to take the mirrors off. Leave your top bolt the last. These are not original Toyota bolts. Right? They're a bit longer than they need to be really, but Toyota's bolts are a bit shorter. They're about half an inch long. Okay, keep a hold of that mirror when you take that top bolt out because you will lose it. It'll come down and mark your door. Take that off. Pull that up, and there's that plastic connector that was holding it in place down the door for you. All right, we don't worry about those once we've taken them off. All right, if you're not sure, sit down, watch DVD again. I'm sure you get the hang of it. It's not rocket science. Even I can do it. Go do, come back, hit the play button, and we're going to put the uh, new Clearview mirrors on. Thank you. Okay, we're going to fit our Clearview mirror. We've decided to go with a black mirror on this vehicle. We know it's got some chrome on door handles and along here and that. 
but it's also got a black snorkel, right, and a lot of other black bits and pieces on it as well. So we think a black mirror will probably be a good fit. You need to start off by taking your electrical plug for the 80, right, and we're going to feed that down through the door here on the other side, and you need to follow it down and make sure that you don't get it caught up in the electric window, right? And once you've got your hand in here and you've got the wire out, okay, when you fit it, make sure that you're, you're, you're feeding the wire down and pulling the wire all the way down as it goes in. You don't want to get it trapped between the door here and the mirror and just cut the wires off. You'll have no electrics and probably short everything out at the same time. So there's the mirror. Okay, now, when you, when you get the mirror, you'll see that we've supplied you with, with bolts like this. They've got a flat washer on them. They've got a screwdriver head, and they're a 10 mil uh, hex head as well. Okay, they'll be a little bit shorter than this. These ones we're just using because that's what we've got at the moment. But we've got the shipment of the shorter bolts coming in in a couple of days. So just get a start on them. And once you get them into place, make sure that you, you don't cross them. Okay. I'll nip them up tight. Right. There's no movement in that. That's beautiful. All right. There's your mirror in the outward position. Now, with your electrics here, you can do a couple of things if you wish. You want to get pedantic. You can take that piece there off your wire. Okay, and just put a bit of tape around it because that's all Toyota have got on it. Is a bit of electrical tape. Okay. And you can put that back around your wire and then and then put it back on if you wish. Okay, make sure you plug your wires in here, get them the correct way around. Okay, you'll see this one's got like a little straight liner or T piece, right? Your T goes in one side, okay, and the other one goes in the other. Alright, just push them in like that. Okay, and then drop your wires down low on the other side of your your electric window glass and then before you go any further turn your ignition on and check your electrics on your mirror to make sure that they work properly up down out and in and make sure that they're working on the correct sequence and there should be no reason why they don't. don't. Okay, now I'm going to do a reassembly for you. You've plugged everything back in. All you need to do is hang your door panel again. These, these just drop in pretty nicely. Make sure you get all these little popper clips here in the correct place. Right? Just, just give them a tap in like that. Right? And you'll find that they'll go in all the way around without too much of a problem. Put your door handle back in place. Put your little screw in it. Now, you notice I'm using a screwdriver for this. Right, this is only a little screw. Taking it out is one thing, but you don't want to over tighten them when you put them back, okay? Right. With these other ones, right, we've got three of them. One, two, and three here. This one here is on an angle, remember? Okay, so put those in there, get them started. All right, I'm going to whiz them up with the electric because I can. Save a bit of time, get them started. And then this one here, like I said, it goes in on an angle. So, and you'll just have to feel your way with it. Right, once you get a start on them, if you've got the luxury of a, an electric, right? It's a 
simple as that. Now, that That's pretty much done except for your cover here. And unfortunately, um, that wasn't on there when, uh, when we got the car. So to get them out, they've got like two little clips that go down in here. And it's got a straight one that goes in there. You've got to get the top out first and then, and then sort of pull it out that way. And to put it back, you put it in the opposite way. Drop it in there and then just line that up. Push it in and it'll, it'll just look like Toyota's fitted it. Right. and uh, there's your result. Hook them up, pull them out when you're towing, push them back when you're not. If you need to go into a car park, just give them a hit like that, okay? And uh, you'll find that they'll fold in for you. All right. They'll find their own locating point out there.